from Amateur Radio Newsline Report number 2387. This is Ham Nation Headlines for Wednesday, August 2nd, 2023. Radios and other equipment remain on Rock All Island where a second attempt at activation has failed. A second and very brief activation of the remote granite islet known as Rock Hall was called off after hazardous conditions in the North Atlantic had forced the team to return to the mainland. Cam Cameron, Emil Bergman, DL8JJ, and Nobby, G0VJG, set sail on the 16th of July only to turn back three days later after making several passes at Rock Hall. The hams were hoping to have a second activation, three hours of CW and SSB, during their return trip. The trio was travelling to recover radio equipment left there during the June activation of MM0 UKI. Emil and Nobby had called QRZ for several days before their departure, leaving Cam on rock hall. In a challenge to benefit charity, Cam was hoping to break the previous 45-day stay record set in 2014. He'd called for rescue in late June after 32 days of exhaustion and hypothermia. Though don't be discouraged, the team plans another recovery attempt. This is Jeremy Bucci for NJH. India's government is looking for a radio operator to join the team at the country's research station in the Antarctic. If you like cold weather, here's what's involved. A qualified radio operator is among the many posts being advertised for the next Indian Antarctic expedition, with preferences being given to ham or maritime radio operators. The National Centre for Polar and Ocean Research has been interviewing candidates for a variety of contract positions to work at its Antarctic research base beginning in November or December of this year. The research season ends sometime in 2025. Radio communication is considered an essential component of this 43rd expedition, which hopes to look at the ecosystem as well as satellite communication, ionospheric studies, stellar observations and climate change. The government has been seeking a candidate proficient in English. This is Graham Kemp, VK4BB. Students in the Philippines are feeling proud that their two ham radio CubeSats have entered orbit. Two amateur radio CubeSats from the Philippines are now in orbit. Maya 5 and Maya 6 were built by university students with the goal of helping the nation keep its momentum going on satellite development while using locally sourced materials. The primary mission of the CubeSat pair is to give the amateur radio community a digital message relay service through the Automatic Packet Reporting System, or APRS. The onboard APRS digipeters use the frequency of 145.825 MHz for transmitting as well as receiving. The CubeSats are also demonstrating a data message store and forward system compatible with universal amateur radio text and email messaging. The International Space Station released the CubeSats on the 19th of July. This is Jason Daniels, VK2LAW. And that's all from the Amateur Radio News Line, your independent source for amateur radio news since 1976 at arnewsline.org. With Jeremy Boot, G4NJH, Graham Kemp, VK4BB, Jason Daniels, VK2LAW, Karen Eve Murray, KD2GUT at the News Desk in New York, and our news team across the globe, I'm Don Wilbanks, AE5DW. 7-3, we'll see you next time here on Ham Nation.